Welcome to the Chillicothe Public Library Sign and Sing Story Time. As always, my name is Miss Whitney, and I have a brand new story time to bring to you today all about bugs. I don't know if you've noticed, but outside, outside, there's lots of bugs crawling around, and we're going to read some books and sing some songs about different kinds of bugs. So, if you are new to joining us, or if just as a refresher, the focus of this story time is for you to be able to practice and learn three to five new signs that you can practice all month long and teach your family and friends. So be on the lookout for some new signs and we'll review at the end just in case you missed any. I wanted to say a big thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to Chillicothe Public Library for sponsoring us today. I am so grateful to be able to come to you every two weeks and bring this story time. So thank you, thank you, Chillicothe Public Library for supporting Communication Junction. If you have not ever followed on Facebook or Instagram Communication Junction, why don't you hop on over and follow us so you can be up to date on all of our most current uh, story times events, uh, classes, all the things. And then also, if you've never followed uh, Chillicothe Public Library, please go follow them as well. This is posted on their Facebook every two weeks. So you'll definitely wanna check that out if you wanna to continue to watch our story times, which I hope you enjoy it and I hope you want to continue to watch it. Uh, let me check my notes really quick here. Oh, perfect, I, I'm getting better at this, but I wrote it down just in case. If you would like to say hello, Miss Whitney, comment down below or have mom or dad or grandma, grandpa, aunt or uncle, nanny, babysitter, whoever's with you, comment down below and say hello, Miss Whitney, and I will do my best to comment back and say, hi friend, how are you? Thank you for joining me. So comment down below if you get a chance. And I already said about following all of the things. Perfect, all right, so my last two things, my last two things. Um, photos and pictures. If you are taking any of those, make sure that you tag Communication Junction and Chillicothe Library. We'd love to go back and look at the pictures and videos of your little ones enjoying our story times. And then lastly, where I'm going to tell you about the books, and I actually have one more thing that I just forgot about. I got a brand new bubble gun, bubble machine to share with you. So if you have bubbles at home, go grab them and come back. But this one, it doesn't roar anymore and it runs consistently. So this is exciting. So we're gonna try this out today. So this is my new bubble machine. So we're gonna be do doing bubbles here in a little bit. And then lastly, let's go over the books and then we'll get started, okay? Sorry, this is a little bit longer with the intro, but we're gonna get started as soon as I tell you what books, because you may have them in your home library and you can read them along with me. And if you don't, go online reserve them at Chillicothe Public Library, do a curbside pickup, and you can watch this again and read them with me. So there's some ideas. All right, so our first book is called I Love Bugs. I Love Bugs. And this one is by Philmon Sturges, and it is published by Harper Collins Publisher. So that's our first book. It's really fun. I always have a favorite book, you know, Miss Whitney, so this next one is my favorite book of the story time. Um, I always pick one that I absolutely just love a whole lot. I love all these books, but this one's my favorite one of the story time. This one is called 10 Little Ladybugs. 10 Little Ladybugs, and it has little pop-up ladybugs, so it's really fun to count with your little ones. Um, and this one is by Melanie Girth, and it is published by Brent Binden Publishing. So that one's really fun. And then our last one is such a fun, colorful book. And it is called Butterfly, Butterfly. And this one is by Peter Hor Horuk. And it is published by Candlewick Publishing. So I apologize if I messed up the, the last name. But this one is very fun and very colorful and all about butterflies. So that's all of my talking that's not related to the story time so let's get started are you ready so to start my story time every time we always like to sing our hello song so if you don't know it you it's really easy you don't need to know much you need to know how to wave and how to sign today so you make a y hand and you bring it down today today all right here we go sing along with me hello how are you Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? How are you today, friends? I'm so glad you're joining me today. Thank you for spending a little time with me this morning or whatever time you're actually watching this because it's pre-recorded so you can watch it literally whenever you want. So that's pretty cool. Put dinner on the table, watch Miss Whitney. 
Anywho, let's keep going. So the next song is called I Am Fine. So you make your five hand and you point your thumb at you and say, I'm fine, Miss Whitney. And let's sing our song. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. Hope you are too today. Good job, friends. I do hope you're doing fantastic today. And then lastly, we're gonna to turn to our neighbors and wave hello. But for neighbors, we sign the sign for friend. So you take your two index fingers and you hook them one way and you hook them the next way. And we're gonna to turn to our neighbors and wave hello. So here we go. Turn to your neighbors and wave hello. Turn to your neighbors and wave hello. Turn to your neighbors and wave hello. Wave hello today. Good job, friends. Thank you for singing with me. Let's get started on this new story time all about bugs. So to do the sign for bugs, you hold up three fingers, one, two, three, middle finger, uh, index finger, thumb, and then you put your thumb on your nose and you move your two top fingers like antennas bugs. So this story time is all about bugs. And my first song that we are singing, <clears throat> we're going to talk about a specific bug. So the specific bug we're talking about is a fly. So you make the F hand. So this is our an, uh, ASL alphabet. This is the letter F. You make the F hand, put your index finger and your thumb together and your three fingers up, and then you fly it around. That's our sign for fly. And you can do it with both hands. You can do it with one hand. You can do two flies. We're going to be singing about a song with two flies, so we're going to be doing both hands. So this is the sign for fly. And my first song is called Two Little Shoe Flies. So that's, we're going to have two, two flies, right? So let me see your two flies. Show them, show them, show them, show them, show them. Good job. And we're going to hide them behind our back. You ready? And the song goes like this. We're going to sing it a few times. So I'm going to sing it once and then um, we will continue to sing it a couple more times. So here we go. Two little shoe flies sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. <gasps> come back, Peter, come back, Paul. And then on the count of three, we're going to make them fly high in the sky. Ready? One, two, three. Three. Woo! Did your flies fly away? Did your flies fly away? <laughs> Good job. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Um, this time, if you can do the sign with me, you could just do the flies. You don't even have to sing it yet, but the next time around, I want you to sing it with me. But if you know it, then go ahead and sing it. So this time, just do the hand motions and join me in that, okay? Here we go. Let me see your flies and hide them behind your back. All right, here we go. Ready? Two little shoe flies sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. <gasps> come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Did they come back? Did your flies come back? All right, ready? On the count of three, they're gonna fly away. One, two, three, woo! Did they go bye-bye? <laughs> Bye, Mr. Flies. <laughs> All right, let's do it one more time, and I want everybody in the room to sign it and sing it with me, okay? So, also remember, in two weeks when I see you again, we'll sing the song again. So be practicing so that next go-round, and in two weeks, when we sing the song again, you can sing it with me, okay? Word for word, and you can show everybody the sign for fly. So here we go. Last time. Sign for fly, and hide it behind your back. Here we go. Two little shoe flies sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Good job. On the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Fly away. Did Peter and Paul go bye bye? <laughs> bye bye, Peter and Paul. Good job, friends. That's such a fun song. So practice that so in two weeks, when I come back with you, you can sing it with me, okay? Good job. So we are ready for our first book, but to sing our, or, but to read our first book, we need to sing our song. So let me teach you the song if you're new. And if you're not, then you already know it. And this is a refresher. So we need to know the sign for book, the sign for time, and the sign for friend. And that's all you need to know. And sing along with me. Here we go. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time 
time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. Good job. So remember, our first book is I Love Bugs. So we go, I love bugs. Bugs. <laughs> all right. Let's see what this book is all about. Ooh, look, there's all kinds of bugs on the first page. I'm going to scoot up a little bit because I feel like I need to scoot up. <laughs> so all those bugs on the first, the opening page. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Do you see the kitty cat? Meow, meow, kitty cat. And it goes like this. Bugs, bugs, bugs. I like bugs. You think the kitty cat loves bugs, likes bugs? <laughs> Bugs that creep and bugs that crawl. Creepy crawly bugs. Do you see the worm or the centipede? <laughs> bugs that hop or fly. We just learned that word, fly. The blue matches my blue background. <laughs> I love to find them under rocks find bugs under rocks. I went on a hike last week, two weeks ago, and we looked under a, a log and we saw all kinds of bugs. So if you're ever outside and you're wanting to find some bugs, just look under a rock or a log and you're going to find all kinds of bugs. Um, or watch them in the sky. Do you like to watch butterflies and other bugs in the sky? Bumblebees and other bugs <laughs> in the sky? These bugs right here, they paddle or swim. Can you swim? Good job. And this one, he weaves. So we make a spider. We've, we've talked about this a few times, but a spider, spider, makes a spider web. And some make honey. Which, which uh, bug makes honey? Is it the bee? The bee, the bumblebee makes, the, that bug makes honey. And some chew leaves. The caterpillar. <laughs> caterpillar is chewing leaves. Some bugs barrel underground. The ants, right? The ants are called bugs too. And others swoop and buzz around. Bzzz. This one likes the bark of a tree. And this one likes the twigs on the tree. <laughs> This one matches the bark too, doesn't it? It's the same color brown. Cicadas, buzz, a summer song. And crickets, dance a jig. Cause they're always hopping, right? So crickets, it looks like they're dancing. I like bugs that blink at night with the light, right? And flutter around the back porch light. They blink at night at the back porch light. Do you see the, the light? But this bug, this one right here, this one's the best of all. I like the ladybugs and she loves to crawl. <laughs> bugs, bugs, bugs. I love bugs. <laughs> The end. All done. When we finish a book or we move on to a new uh, part of our story times or just in general in life, when we move on to the next activity, we sign the end or all done. It's really all done. I say the end and all done. Good job. Well, I have another fun song for you and this one is a movement song where we're going to get our wiggles out. So stand up with me, okay? And we are going to do a little movement dance, okay? Here we go. I got to move my chair, so hold on. Hopefully Miss Whitney can put it back where it needs to go. Oh, and you can still see me, this is great. Okay, so this song is all about a bumblebee. So we need to know the sign for bee, right? So you make your uh, your F hand or your fly, your F hand, and you put it to your cheek and then you brush it off. It's like the bee is stinging you on your cheek. Bee, 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 practice it with me. Bee, stinging you and brushing it off. Bee, 
Good job. Okay, so this song is about a bumblebee and it's super easy and you have to listen to my directions and follow along. So we're gonna sing it twice. So I'm gonna do it once and you follow me in the second time because it's so easy. You're gonna be able to sing it with me, okay? So it goes like this. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing all around. And we're gonna turn a circle, but this is all. Buzzing all around. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing on the ground. And you're gonna touch the ground, whoop. <laughs> Bumblebee, bumblebee, up so high. And reach as high as you can. I'm out of the screen, but reach as high as you can. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing past my eye. Point to your eye. Good job. Bumblebee, bumblebee, past my toes. Wiggle your toes. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing on my nose. And on the count of three, we're gonna say, shoo, bumblebee. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Three, shoo, bumblebee. <laughs> Good job, friends. We're gonna do that one more time, okay? So join in with me. We're gonna turn as our first uh, action, and then we're gonna go down and up and eyes and toes and nose, okay? Here we go. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing all around. Turn a circle. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing on the ground. Touch the ground. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing up high. Reach up high. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing past my eye. <laughs> bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing on my toes. Wiggle your toes. Bumblebee, bumblebee, buzzing on my nose. And let's count to three and say, shoo, bumblebee. Ready? One, two, three. Shoo, bumblebee. <laughs> Good job, friends, good job. So if you are still standing, listen to me. Are you ready? Here we go. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go stomp, stomp, stomp. One little body turns around. One little bottom sits on the ground or chair or wherever you are. I gotta bring my chair over and then I'll sit. <laughs> All right, chair down, Miss Whitney down. We're in camera, perfect. All right, good job, friends. What did you think of my song, Bumblebee, Bumblebee? Did you like it? Thumbs up if you liked it. Good job, friends, good job. All right, let me turn my paper over here. <clears throat> we are ready to do our counting song. In Communication Junction, we love education, we love teaching, and we love talking about ABCs and numbers because it's such a vital uh, stage of life for our little ones to learn and know these um, uh, ideas and concepts. So we are going to review our numbers really quick and we're going to sing about 10 little ladybugs and then we're going to read a book about 10 little ladybugs. Okay, so give me one second here. All right, I got it. So let's go over our numbers and then we will sing our song. And it goes to the tune of 10 Little Indians. We sing it, it's the same kind of tune we sing each uh, story time. We just change the character in it or the noun in it or the object or the bug in it. <laughs> okay, so let's do our number review really quick and then we'll sing our 10 little ladybugs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, friends. All right, let's sing 10 little ladybugs crawling all around. All right, here we go. One little, two little, three little ladybugs. Four little, five little, six little ladybugs. Seven little, eight little, nine little ladybugs. Ten little ladybugs crawling all around. <laughs> Good job, friends. Nice work. All right, let's sing it one more time and then we'll read our book, okay? Here we go. One little, two little, three little ladybugs. Four little, five little, six little ladybugs. Seven little, eight little, nine little ladybugs. Ten little ladybugs crawling all around. Good job, friends. Nice work. Okay, let's sing our um, book song and then we will read. Here we go. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book with all my friends. 
It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. Good job, friends. All right, our book. I gotta grab it off the floor here. Is ta da! Ten little ladybugs. And we signed this for ladybugs. If it talks about red spots, we say red spots, ladybug, right? So, ten little ladybugs. And we're going to talk about numbers in this one too. And they are all different colors. We have red and yellow and orange. And then there's like a pattern that's not all the same, but it is a pattern <laughs> that's going through the book. And they stick up so you can actually feel them. It's a pretty cool book. All right. Ten little ladybugs. I feel like I need to scoot up again. Here we go. <laughs> Ten little ladybugs sitting on a vine. Along came a butterfly. Have I taught, I don't think I've taught you that sign. Butterfly, you take your two five hands, you turn them towards you, cross them, so your thumbs are hooking together. Can you see that? Your thumbs are hooking together. And then you float them, butterfly, butterfly. So, 10 little ladybugs sitting on a vine. Along came a butterfly. And then there were, huh, let's see. Nine. Nine little ladybugs skipping on a gate. Along came a caterpillar. Where's the caterpillar? There he is. <laughs> He's like, my hand's covering him. Along came a caterpillar. And then there were eight. Eight little ladybugs looking up to heaven. Along came a bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. And then there were seven. Seven little ladybugs. Sitting on a stick, along came a grasshopper, bounce, 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 and then there were six, six little ladybugs flying near a hive, along came a bumblebee, and then there were five, and you can count them, one, two, three, four, five, do you see them? What is that? Is that a fish? <laughs> five little ladybugs sleeping on the shore. Along came a fish, and then there were four. You see the number four? Four. Four little ladybugs climbing up a tree. Along came a turtle, and then there were, oh, I skipped ahead. Along came a turtle, and then there were, I want to teach you the sign for turtle. <laughs> That's why my head got messed up. Turtle, you make uh, an A hand, and you turn it, and then you cover it. Turtle. Turtle. That's a fun sign. Along came a turtle, and then there were three. Three little ladybugs drinking up the dew. Along came a duck, quack, 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 and then there were two. Two little ladybugs basking in the sun. Along came a frog, ribbit, ribbit, and then there was one. There's only one left. One little ladybug sitting all alone. Along came a breeze. And then she was home with all of her friends. They all got together. So she's not alone anymore. She's back home. Oh, good job, friends. The end. All done. That book is all done. And we have come to our favorite part of story time. We are ready for bubbles. So during this time, you can say bubbles, please, or more bubbles, Miss Whitney. So more and bubbles and please. And I'm going to sing and use our new bubble gun. Ta -da! <laughs> all right, here we go. And it, it works because I think I tested it just a minute or two ago before I started. So here we go. Oh, it's got a bright light. Here we go. Bubbles floating all around, all around, all around. Bubbles floating all around. Pop, pop, pop. Isn't that fun? It works so good. <laughs> Did you get the bubbles? Did you say more bubbles, Miss Whitney, please? All right, we're gonna do it one more time and then we're gonna be done with the bubbles. I'm still popping the bubbles at my house. Did you go pop, 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 pop? 
All right, let's do bubbles one more time and then we're almost done with our story time. So here we go. Bubbles floating all around, all around, all around. Bubbles floating all around. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> I need the last one in there. <laughs> Did you see all the bubbles? Did you go pop, 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 pop? Good job, friends. Bubbles are all done. And we have one more book and then our story time is all done. So let's sing our song and read our last book, okay? And this last book is about butterflies. So here we go. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. Good job, friends. All right, our last book. Butterfly, butterfly. So the sign for butterfly we just learned. Two five hands, turn them towards you, cross them, and hook your thumbs and flutter around. Butterfly. All right. Let's read about these butterflies. This is so colorful. This is beautiful pictures. Butterfly, butterfly. One day, Lucy saw a beautiful butterfly. Do you see the beautiful butterfly? She played with it and she chased it and all around the garden. They played all day in the garden. The next day, Lucy couldn't find her butterfly and she was really sad. Where did my butterfly go? But she did find a pink earthworm wiggling on the ground. Do you see it? A brown spider spinning a web. Then Lucy discovered a green beetle bug and a family of spotted red ladybugs. Do you see the family of ladybugs? <laughs> she saw a snail, remember I just taught you that snail one? With an orange shell slithering. Three purple caterpillars munching on leaves. A shimmery blue dragonfly flying and a yellow bee with stripes buzzing about. But Lucy, she didn't see her butterfly anywhere. She looked and looked and looked. Hmm. Lucy lay down in the cool grass to wait and then high in the sky, what do you think she saw? This is my favorite page. <laughs> do you see the butterfly? It pops out. There was her colorful, beautiful butterfly. Do you see it? This is my favorite page. <laughs> Good job. The end. All done. Good job, friends. Nice work today. This story time went by so fast, at least in my opinion. So we need to review. I want to sing one more song with you and then I will see you back in two weeks, okay? So to review, if you are new to signing and this is your first video you've ever watched of us, something you can start integrating in your everyday life is the sign for book, the sign for all done, the sign for time, and the sign for friend. So those are ones we do every week. We also do bubbles every week as well. So those are some signs you can start putting in right now today. And then if you are a pro and you've been with us forever, here's some signs that, new signs that we learned today. So we learned the sign for bug and butterfly. And I taught you snail. Oh, this is turtle. Did I teach you snail? This is snail. It's one of my other favorite ones. Um, anyways, <laughs> turtle. Uh, what else did we talk about? Oh, spiders and flies. That was a lot. That's a lot. So, bug, butterfly, spider, fly, turtle, 
snail, lots of, lots of new science today. Sorry, friends. I like bugs. I like talking about bugs and teaching bugs. So anywho, all right. So I want to sing two little shoe flies again with you, and then we will sing our goodbye song, and then I will see you back in two weeks. Before we start singing, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you again for spending a little bit of your time with me today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chillicothe Public Library for sponsoring us for all these many, many uh, story times that you have supported us with Communication Junction. And I will be back in two weeks with a new story time, but it's still about bugs. So new books, same songs, but come back and check those out and review your songs with me and learn some new science. Okay, so we're gonna do two little shoe flies and then we're gonna do our goodbye song. So let me see your flies and hide them behind your back. Here we go. Two little shoe flies sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. And remember, on the count of three, we're gonna make them go away. One, two, three. Woo! Good job. And lastly, let's sing our goodbye song. So you know my goodbye song, you need to know the sign for time, the sign for friend, and how to wave goodbye. Here we go. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, friends. I cannot wait to see you back in two weeks. Until then, bye-bye.